A warning now for a story that may be disturbing and too graphic for some young viewers. The Anchorage School District and police are investigating an alleged incident of hazing that occurred on a football trip over the weekend. Now, a Diamond High School football parent alleges that her freshman son and other young players were sexually assaulted by seniors on the team. New tonight here on Channel 2 for the first time since we broke the news of alleged sexual abuse involving the Diamond High School football team. A member of that team has come forward to share his story. In a dark gymnasium packed full with sleeping high school football players, the player who spoke to us says it would have been only too easy to sneak past patrols. Coaches are taking shifts. It's very hard to dis differentiate between a bag and a person. And it's probably very easy to just wait until the coach isn't looking and then just go and grab someone. Diamond High football, a culture of harmless jokes and pranks, maybe. But hazing? This is the... Uh, First time I've ever seen or heard about it, and I wouldn't call it hazing. This is definitely sexual assault. I'm not sugar sugarcoating that. The school board has been in an executive session for nearly an hour now at this time with school superintendent Dina Bishop, as well as some additional people, a counsel, a lawyer for the school district, and a communications firm, Strategies 360, in addition to a handful of other folks. We have an update now on our lead story tonight. The Anchorage School Board has wrapped up a closed-door meeting concerning those allegations involving the Diamond High School football team. Channel 2's Jill Burke is live at the Anchorage School District headquarters with the very latest on this situation. Jill, what's the update? Our safety is number one concern for all of our students, and we will take whatever actions need to be to keep our students safe. That's our number one priority. Okay, Dr. Bishop, can you tell us what specifically has taken place in response to this event? Um, I want to share that we will come up with a, we, we do have a more comprehensive answer, but um, in communicating any kind of uh, trip that students take, um, as well as just the safety of students in our care, any kind of uh, reported incident, any kind of retaliation, um, retribution, anything like that, um, whether it happens at Diamond High School or an elementary school in our district, um, we take them seriously. I think I'm asking specifically, have any students received consequences as a result of the incident that is being investigated? I, and I'll, I'll share again, because I know that that is the question out there in our whole community, that uh, we are working with minors, mm -hmm. and there are laws set out in regard to working with minors. And so um, those disallow me to comment on specifics uh, at this time. And I, I regret that, but um, I, we need to be forthright and follow the law here as well. We have no other information to give at this time. And I think you have to remember that we are bound by state and federal laws and that we can't comment. We have to protect all our students. And this is another way that we protect our students is through their confidentiality. Right. But some parents have said they just want to know if the alleged aggressors are still in school with their students. And I can share with you that we have absolutely um, ensured safety of students at Diamond High School. Um, it was just recently that um, at the end of last week that we uh, began our side of the investigation. It is not a good thing that we have students and families that have worked hard that um, want to resume um, play and football and resume school the way they expected it to be this year, a good school year. Um, however, um, we're, we're doing everything we can to find the information out to make decisions that are necessary to move forward. Nothing is complete. Thank you. This is the public relations strategist that's been hired by the district I'm anticipating um, in relation to this specific event, encouraging them to stop talking. But my final question is, do you anticipate the football program will continue? Um, I can't speak because I don't have all the information that I need. Um, the investigation is continuing. Um, can I say that I'm, I'm hopeful? I'm always hopeful to have good things happen for kids, but we're not complete and it would be inappropriate to speak. The police department, it sounds like, is still conducting some of its work. The school district is conducting its work to find out um, what took place here and what consequences need to be levied. So more as it comes out. Back to you guys. All right, Joe Burke live at ASD headquarters tonight and again. The school superintendent and the president of the school board making pledges to protect students in Diamond High School 
but no details about how they're doing that. They're claiming it would be a violation of state law for them to talk about actions taken against minors. And they're pushing people to their website instead of having a lot of answers tonight. A player's mother alleges on Saturday evening that freshman boys laid awake terrified as several senior players took them one by one into another room where they were sexually assaulted by the seniors with their fingers. School district superintendent said this at a board meeting Monday night. It's a serious incident. Um, hazing is absolutely uh, inappropriate against policy, not only in the Anchor School District, but in the um, uh, Sports Association for the state as well. Consequences today for a high school football team in the wake of an investigation into player misconduct from some of the members of the Diamond High School football team. Now, it's clear tonight the investigation is serious and that efforts are underway to control what's known about it. Channel 2's Jill Burke has more tonight. Jill. Mike and Rebecca, ASD Superintendent Dina Bishop spent most of the day in meetings addressing the alleged incident. And while she's taking action, a lot of questions remain. Behind closed doors for several hours with unnamed staff, Superintendent Dina Bishop strategized. It's serious misconduct and it's being taken seriously. One decisive action, Lynx football is benched. I did make a determination today to suspend um, the football program uh, until additional information is gathered. Parents speaking to Channel 2 on condition of anonymity told us several older players assaulted younger players during an overnight stay at Lathrop High School. Two days after those families came forward, Bishop offered assurances. We have ensured the safety of students and um, as a school district, we do take um, initial precautions as needed um, because all students um, involved are um, minors. Um, I can't comment on anything further. So none of the students are 18? I can't comment on the information. But how the safety of students is being ensured is something she won't talk about. So have there been expulsions? I'm not going to comment any further. In an email to parents Monday obtained by Channel 2, Lynx coach Bernardo Otero said coaches pulled shifts staying awake and counting players and checking on players. Also, that he personally did not sleep during the evenings. We asked about hazing, assault, and sexual assault trainings, when they happened last and whether they've happened since the incident was reported. Bishop and her team did not immediately have answers. Yes, I know it's the first week in school, but people are, are worried and they want to know. After our interview, Bishop followed up with this written statement. Now, as for the fate of the team, Bishop told us she'll make that decision after the investigation is complete and after she gets more information about how pervasive the misconduct may have been. We asked Anchorage police to talk about school safety and the difference between hazing and criminal behavior. They also declined. Tonight, we look at the legal definition of sexual assault. Sexual assault is termed an unclassified felony which is the highest level felony in the state of Alaska. Richard Payne, a former prosecutor, says if there was penetration, it is sexual assault. But the ages of the people involved and the level of authority over the victims could impact the situation. The answer, it depends on exactly what happened and how old everybody is. But uh, from what I've learned in the media and talking to other people, this would qualify as a sexual assault in the first degree. A tense wait continues tonight for resolution in the ongoing investigations into those allegations of serious misconduct at an Anchorage high school. It's a criminal investigation with older players alleged to have harmed younger players. It also fits the pattern for hazing, something Alaska lawmakers tried five years ago to criminalize. So like other crimes that go underreported, this bill attempts with your support to say hazing is wrong, hazing can hurt people, and we are going to hold people accountable and talk about it. House Bill 189 is a bill that we're bringing forward that defines and adds hazing to the criminal code and, and raises awareness and adds hazing to school district policies across Alaska. The Alaska lawmakers are not alone in thinking hazing deserves specific mention in law. According to hazingprevention.org, at this time, Alaska is only one of six states nationwide that does not have laws against hazing. Well, week two of the suspension of Diamond High School's football program is underway, and there is word tonight of an effort by the school to find out what the players know about the misconduct that has the program on hold. Diamond High School principal Tina Johnson Harris sent an email on Friday letting parents know that the students would be pulled during third period to take what she called a, quote, written questionnaire. The school looking for information on two items, team policy and culture 
and any knowledge of misconduct. We've heard from at least one parent who told us students were also asked not to talk about the survey. They didn't set well with this parent since it is a sensitive matter with a known criminal investigation running parallel to the school's inquiry, and many of the team's players are minors. The Anchorage School Board is meeting tonight to address accusations of sexual assault during a hazing incident. We're here waiting for that meeting to get underway. Meanwhile, We've learned that several football parents did not get an email notice in advance of players being questioned at school Monday. An email obtained by Channel 2 shows that the message went out at 5.35 last night after we first reported during the 5 o'clock report about the school's questioning of students. In the email, staff apologized and explained the school inadvertently missed several parents. Diamond High School football players back on the practice field today. Their team benched after a swirl of allegations. So the Anchorage School District is assuring parents tonight that their students are safe at Diamond High. They withheld many details, cautious to follow what they said were legal requirements, ongoing investigations, and the confidentiality of minors. On the football field at Diamond High School, things feel too quiet. It's difficult to be a student athlete with no drills to run, no games to play. The football program remains on hold, pending the outcome of an investigation into serious misconduct. An investigation that players and families are ready to have gain yards. For now, all of the moves are behind the scenes. So at this time we are going to be moving into executive session. I would ask anyone that's not uh, part of this executive session to please leave the room. A closed door meeting to discuss, to strategize. An hour later, some assurances. We will take whatever actions need to be to keep our students safe. That's our number one priority. Strong statements. We have absolutely um, ensured safety of students at Diamond High School. But so, citing um, confidentiality like laws, few reassuring details. There are laws set out in regard to working with minors, and so um, those disallow me to comment on specifics uh, at this time, and I, I regret that. Overall, a troubling start to the school year for all involved. It is not a good thing that we have students and families that have worked hard that um, want to resume um, play and football and resume school the way they expected it to be this year a good school year Parents bishop said, would not comment on whether students staff coaches or administrators had received consequences stemming from the investigation as for whether diamond will get to salvage any of the season with a lot of green between today and the end zone that too, Bishop said, is just too soon to know. Well, I'm always hopeful to have good things happen for kids, but we're not complete and it would be inappropriate to speak. Mike, this has been a nightmare the past two weeks for not only the victims of this incident, but also the Diamond High School community. But now there's a new coach named to the team, new mandatory training resources and sessions require of them, and a motivational speaker addressing that group tonight. Whether it's wins, losses, or how many yards passed, um, you know, uh, they missed two weeks uh, because of this incident, and, and it was the time needed to um, conduct an investigation. The Diamond High School football team was back on the field Friday, practicing under a new normal with hopes of a more positive end to the season. Uh, my message is about uh, uh, getting up when you get knocked down. Anchorage police say tonight they're done with their sexual assault investigation involving the Diamond High School football team. And tonight there is no increased clarity, at least publicly, about what happened and who did what to whom. Channel 2's Jill Burke has that story. Jill. Mike and Rebecca, tonight, as it has all along, Anchorage Police Department is saying very little citing the age of the players involved. What we do know is that police are done, and as of now, there are no arrests, no charges. Now, APD is handing the case off to the Office of Special Prosecutions for a decision on what to do next. And we take any type of allegation seriously and we investigate. So what we do is we investigate, that's what we do. Uh, but this particular investigation, it's now been handed over to ASPA to make the determination if there will be charges. Asked to comment, the Anchorage School District reiterated what it has already said, that it has cooperated with police, it has disciplined students involved, and it fired three coaches, including the head coach. And this, quote, we look forward to a safe school year and are glad that our student athletes at Diamond High School are back on the football field doing 
what they love. So as all along, ASD and APD continue to keep what they know closely under wraps.